Greetings, passionate, peerless, perfect, privacy-loving patrons. Welcome back to Anarchast, your home for anarchy on the internet. I will be Patrick Smith. Today, we're going to do a quick episode for those of you that use the Signal messaging app. This is not going to be a show about whether or not you should use Signal. We'll handle that another time. Today is going to be for the people that use Signal. There are uh, a set of settings that I think everybody needs to make sure that they've at least thought about using if you're going to use the Signal messaging app. Let's get right into it. Number one, to get to the Signal app's settings, click the little menu icon and choose the settings option from the menu. All of these tips are going to be inside of the privacy section of the menu. So select privacy next. Inside of privacy, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the phone number. Click on phone number, go in there. This is where you hide. This is a brand new ability to signal that a lot of people I'm seeing aren't using yet, but you have the ability to hide your phone number now when you use Signal. This was one of the big differentiators between Telegram and Signal. I couldn't use Signal for talking to the general public for a long time because I don't want to share my phone number that I don't really use anyway with the general public. This allows us to now just contact each other on Signal using our Signal usernames only. So definitely select nobody under who can see my number. Who can find me by my number? I leave on everyone, it's up to you. People that I give my phone number to, they can now very easily contact me through Signal, which I prefer. Like if you already have my number, you could already text me. I don't ever listen, I don't use, does anybody use text messages? <laughs> anymore. I definitely don't. I really try not to use email either if I can get away with it. So uh, if they have signal and have my number, I'd prefer that they use signal. Next up, back up one, back to the privacy menu and select disappearing messages. This is one of the fundamental differences between private apps that are looking out for you and data mining, advertising, selling apps that want your data so that they can profile you so that they can drop ads everywhere and know everything about you. apps that are looking to know who you are and everything about you are not going to have this option. So it's a good tell disappearing messages. Click into that. I think it defaults to off. I'm pretty sure it does. That's dumb. All of your conversations. And this sets the default for new conversations. This sets a disappearing messages timer. What that means is, is that after a time that you set, it will automatically delete your messages. They won't exist on your device or the other person's device or anyone's device anymore after this time. It's just sort of good data hygiene to not just leave an infinite log of every conversation you've had with everyone for all times dragged around with you through life for anybody to look through if they ever compromise your devices. Just set this so that all of your conversations going forward all of your new conversations going forward will be defaulted to at least look if it's like a long running thing four weeks okay go shorter if you can i default mine to one week so all my new conversations default my messages stick around for a week after that they're gone if i needed to save something for longer i have to take an extra step to do that this does not change any of your existing conversations if you go into each of your existing conversations, you can open the menu and set a disappearing message timer for those conversations, which I definitely recommend that you do as well. This is also good for just saving space on all of your devices. So like if you send each other images or videos or whatever, over time, it automatically gets cleaned up with disappearing messages. Okay. Next one, back to the privacy menu, app security screen lock. I know none of you are using fingerprint authentication on your phones, right? Right? <laughs> well, if you are, stop it. That is the least secure in terms of ability to subpoena you at gunpoint to provide your thumb to unlock your phone if that's what you're using. Use a pin number, a long pin number. And by long, I mean at least like 12 digits and just get used to tapping it out fast. Look, privacy is starts with the letter P because it also stands for pain in the ass. <laughs> you have to take extra steps. Okay. Anyway, off my soapbox. That's not what this is about. No matter what you use to lock your device, you should also enable screen lock. Click in here, set a time after 30 minutes, whatever. It's kind of the least pain in the ass, shorter if you want. Just don't use custom time. Turn use screen lock on. What this does 
is it locks your signal messages and the notifications that pop up with messages. So even if your phone is locked, sometimes you can see your the text of your notifications on the lock screen. It's just good to have this on. And whatever method you use to unlock your phone can also then be used to unlock your signal messages. Next up, back in the privacy list, screen security. In the image I'm showing you on the screen, this is turned off. I had to turn it off so that I could take a screenshot, to take these screenshots for you to show you in this video. This should be turned on, turn it on. That's why I drew the little arrow. What this does is it helps, it's not perfect. It's, it's not perfect, but it will prevent a great many apps and methods on your phone of taking screenshots of things going on in your Signal app. So it will make it more difficult for other apps to spy on what you have going on inside Signal if you have this turned on. It's a toggle. It's real easy. Most of the stuff is super easy. It's fire and forget. Like anybody can do this stuff without making Signal really much any harder to use. Okay, next, go back to the privacy menu, scroll all the way to the bottom, click on the advanced menu. These are kind of optional. The top one most people can ignore. If you're trying to be super private from people that you're talking to that you don't trust, you might use the first one optional for this conversation. This is for like normal use of Signal, not for super secret spy use of Signal. Censorship circumvention. You need to check this if Signal is having trouble connecting based probably on where you live. If you live in some, you know, shithole country that doesn't <laughs> let you associate with people freely, uh, this box might solve that problem for you. Signal has also implemented a new privacy feature they're calling Sealed Sender uh, that um, is enabled by default as the versions progress over time. More and more people will start using this automatically. Uh, I turn the show status icon on just because I want to see when this feature is being used, but that's really optional as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Those are the settings that you should probably check in your Signal app as you're using it. If you have any other recommendations for how to use Signal better, more securely, or more privately, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace, love, and anarchy.